Hello and welcome to a probably very brief summary of the last Minecraft episode, uh, well, Minecraft stream. This is the episode, I don't know why I wait until the Sunday after the Monday to do the summary, but mostly because I forget, <laughs> then don't have time, and then forget again, and then it's Sunday. So, I don't really have much to say this time. There's a lot to be said on Lawrence's perspective, so if you have a look at the end of the video with the cards and everything, go look at what Lawrence has to say about what happened last stream, because he's got a big list of stuff, none of which I understand. Remember, Lawrence is going through this quest line, the white magic, and this one, the black magic, all of which, some of which indeed you have to do yourself in order to take advantage of any of the stuff that Lawrence has actually been doing. Um, blood magic, for example, you need to bind yourself to altars and you need to get your, stab yourself and stuff like that. Um, some of the stuff that you can use has to be done by somebody who has already used the blood magic, so you have to go through it. Thus, I have no idea what's happening apart from what Lawrence has been saying in his own videos, some of which we should probably do uh, ourselves anyway so that we could take advantage of um, all the technology up in the tower up there, which is sufficiently advanced technology. Uh, does appear to be magic. There's a there's a way in. Look, amazing. There should be an elevator here. That would be very helpful. So let's uh, let's see what sort of progress has been made in the sort of aesthetic sense because I have no idea what sort of progress will have been made in the. There we go. Um, actual practical technical sense. Um, this grindstone from Astral Sorcery, I remember, if you find crystals, you can apply the grindstone to, grindstone to them to improve their quality. Uh, Astral Sorcery uses starlight. Crystals do diffracting of light. You can see how quality of crystal could make a difference to the quality of spells. In fact, it turned out, I believe, uh, and you will learn this from Lawrence's stream, that this actual thing, this tower, was accidentally built in a very, very good place for Astral Sorcery. Um, because of reasons. Um, there has been some looking at the stars with telescopes in recent hours, uh, looking for constellations. In fact, I now have a, a constellation that myself, if I open up my backpack, which I found, by the way, I don't know where it went. Um, I can open my astral tome, and in my astral tome, let me shift right click, I have found a constellation of Vicio. Or wiki constellations. Look, there it is. I already know Aramara, apparently, but I don't have it in here. I think the point of that collection of constellation papers is just because once you've found it, you memorize it, and then you have the paper, so they give you a place to put them so that you don't clutter up inventories with it in future. It just goes in the book. This is Vikia, this is Aramara, and when you look at the stars, you have the opportunity to trace out the constellation. And when you do so, it remains in the sky forever, and then more stuff can happen. I do remember that when the constellation is in the sky, then you can cast spells that are appropriate to that constellation, and the different ones do different things, like, uh, I don't know, one of them is good for stamina, one of them is good for armor, one of them is good for attack, one of them is good for actually making things, oh, who knows. Look, watch Lawrence's videos, I'm sure he doesn't know either, but he will find out through his quest lines, um, if he has not already. People have been basically going through the quests then, and that's it. Now, I do have to tell you, I don't have to tell you, but I want to, that um, we, we looked at Mike's finished house, or you know, progressing house, in the, in the stream, but you can see that on the next stream as well. I'm not going to go through all that again. Uh, I've been doing my level best to find some platinum uh, for reasons. Pla plating, platinum, <clears throat> uh, which is, is, you know, it's used in lots of things. No doubt. Oh, shields, apparently. Um, but it's very, very rare. Now, platinum dust. Everything moved when I opened it. <laughs> dust. Excuse me. Can we hang on? Platinum. Platinum. There it is, right there. Pulverized platinum. Um, it is a side effect from. Pulverizing something, I believe. Uh, iridium. Fine. Okay, I haven't found any of that either. Oh, and of course, uh, oh, there's Platinum War from Spoilers Planets. Uh, platinum Play. Jupiter. Jupiter? And then Platinum itself. So, Iridium or Platinum <laughs> are what we need. Have we found any Iridium? Probably not. I did go mining 
And um, I used a, this hammer, by the way, goes a long, long way before it gets broken. And I used the entirety of it. At Y level 24, if you have a look at this, uh, you know, smelt, platinum ore, world gem, overworld. That's different, look at that. Andesite platinum ore, drops platinum ore, which itself oh, Look, I didn't realize there were so many of these Platinum is actually, I was at level 24 thinking it's the only level there is, but everywhere It's got spikes in this particular one, Gabbro platinum ore But the thing is these rocks that they're in are part of the world gem for um, bigger biomes, so where those rocks appear, you're more likely to get the platinum ore from those rocks. So this is a little bit confusing because you have to add together all these graphs to see where it should be. But it does seem to be that basically, you know, church platinum ore is exactly at Y23. Look how much there is at... So it's everywhere between bedrock and 24. That's interesting. And there's so much of it now. All these 0.001% should add up surely just platinum ore is it a reasonable percentage if you consider diamond ore 0.9% so it's about a third as rare as diamond ore but a wider range all the way up to 24 anyway I dug at 24 which now I'm realizing was a terrible idea until my hammer broke uh, and found nothing in fact Shall I show you where? Here. Oh, it crashed. Hang on. So anyway, this. I dug all of this. And then I did the, the standard trick of doing two blocks across and then digging all the way back. I recognize that this means I've put all these torches on the wrong side because of course both of these are actually that way. Well, that's the camera, so that way behind uh, but those torches are on the left if you go that way, and these torches are on the right if you go that way, so Not quite right. Anyway, dug all this out, and of course now we've just had the revelation that Platinum is everywhere, so uh, Maybe we'll mine for it differently next time I go mining. Anyway, see you back upstairs So uh, don't tell anybody but I cheated by typing slash home um, I don't think it matters when I'm doing this does it? It's kind of what it's for. Uh, the only thing I really did last time was to make a whole bunch of machines because I was working on quests. Everyone's working on quests. So I've been through how much Lawrence is doing on quests and of course go watch all that because that's way beyond me and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, I've been working on, I mean this spread of things on the tier one main quest line is insane and we've just about to uh, I think unlock tier two of the main quest line so out of five so that's Probably a decent percentage of how far we are through the quest, uh, the, the mod pack in general. Uh, this is probably going to tell me some stuff as well, so I should read this uh, and learn about it. Battery box, innovator, double battery. So we've been doing batteries, we've been doing crystallized oil. Mike went down this line, I think, to get um, canola oil and then batteries, which are presumably canola oil is important to batteries. Um, I went along this one. I think we did that last time. And then I went down this one um, to get the squeezer. I made the still. I made cooking oil. I think I made the cooking oil. But there was another set of machine quests uh, up here. In fact, we'd already gone to Inori Crystals, I think, and this storage chest and yeah, because I off camera handed in all these quests and I got an inventory flooded with stuff I'm never going to use. Um, the crusher was already complete because that's the one that I think Tristan was using. Or maybe we just never used it, who, who, who knows. Um, but this one, this one, this one, and this one I created. Plus this ranged collector. Now I can see a use for the ranged collector without um, you know, thinking too hard. It sucks things into it like a hopper. So it collects things in its inventory and presumably then you pipe them out. Um, but it gathers them from an area around it rather than gathering things that land in the top of it. Uh, like a hopper does. So I put them all in 
uh, an out of the way box here. So we've made the block miner, the control miner, and the range collector. The other ones must have been made. I, I don't remember what I did. I don't want to take credit for doing things that I didn't do myself. I think the ESD is the battery. Energetic solo dancer. Side to use for its input and that can be configured again. So I didn't do that. Um, but I carried on with this line with the auto place of the block miner, the controlled miner, and the ranged collector. Now, one of these is not in here. Block miner, controlled miner, ranged collector. So the auto placer is gone. Or I put it somewhere else, I don't know. Um, or maybe you use it to make. What? Well, maybe it's in here. There's the ESD. L specs, LPEX slot device. Okay, so are you just telling me that loads of things are called the ESD just to annoy us? No, it's called the. It's, okay, that is that. Um, so this one, obviously, there's a ooh, look whitelist. Yeah, okay. I, I won't go into those if you don't know what those are. We've discussed them on stream. Uh, presumably, one of these is the inventory that you pull out of. But um, if you chuck something nearby, then nothing happens because because. Hold a redstone torch to toggle. Okay, uh, two tanks. Uh, it helps if you turn the whitelist off. <laughs> so that in there. This must be okay. That's the filter. So you can filter twelve things, and you can collect six things. So uh, boof, and then boof, and it's gone in there. So now that I've done that, <laughs> give me that back. Um, might as well have a look to see. Fill in this before someone falls into the aquifer. <clears throat> I thought from like maybe it didn't uh, pick things up from below it, so maybe that's still true. So there's a six block radius, no? Okay, so it must be a six block sphere. That's really cool. So you can put that obviously in a mob farm or something, and then presumably use a servo to pipe out of it, like we've been doing with everything else. You can. The whole point of that was to point out you can see why you would use that, right? Um, <clears throat> block miner, controlled miner, block breaker with controls and a tool slot. Now, I fail to see the point in a block breaker. So you can put the tool in here. Okay, this changes everything. So this is where it will mine. And then presumably if I put this in it, now it's mining a different color, brilliant. Um, it needs power, so you give it power. There's a blacklist or a whitelist. It's always on. So <clears throat> this would presumably look at that. This changes everything. I thought this would just mine the block in front of it, but of course it's not going to now that we've seen this. This is going to mine everything in that place. So you, what you then need. Does, does the other one put this one? Oh, this is a day of revelations. I didn't think I'd have much to say today, but uh, that's not the right one. Well, that's my also closer. Maybe somebody's made use of it. It's Tristan back online. Yeah. Have you made use of the auto place? Hold on. Uh, Tristan's doing this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I believe that he is performing some magic to. Cause the auto placer to place blocks down there. Spin. Ooh, look at this. First of all, do we not have redstone? You can do better with this. Um, we should probably use the redstone cables that we've got. So let's. Uh, Talk, I'll talk about that off camera, and Tristan's probably watching me tell you this anyway. So, in fact, one of you is Tristan, so you'll know. Um, and let's have a look down here then. Boing. So, this is connected to the drawers. You have got nothing in it. Drawer takes Ashbrooks out of storage. Puts them in here. Oh, yep, yeah, look, there's the aspirates. Okay, that's, that's an actual draw, the rest of it's trim. And there's one in there, the piston drops, which is what 
this is doing. So this here triggers it, so it must be on, nope. Places a new one. And then when the, there's no room for one, <clears throat> and then the piston goes up because there isn't one in there, right? So the piston goes up and then <laughs> basically it's somewhat complicated. These vanilla um, comparators and stuff, there are better options in one of the mods, I'm 99% certain, but I bet they're expensive or at least awkward to make. So this could be compacted, but it doesn't need, like, come on. So it automatically fills it up. So the placer places in front of itself just the one block. So you could, in theory, use um, the auto miner to, you know, miner a single tree. You know, you'd place the sapling down. Um, Hang on, you can answer me when you see this bit of the video. Smiley face. Um, you place a sapling down, and then when the tree grows, the auto digger, you put an axe in it, and it picks everything up and sends it off into storage. So you could have you know, infinite wood that way. And then you recycle the sapling. So we have got some sort of automation for um, wood available to us at this point with the posh one that lets you put an axe in it. The other one, I mean, I'm assuming that it would let you put an axe, uh, not an axe in it, but like, I wonder what it'll break then. Simple block breaker. And cyclic. Always on or never on. Well, this points down, look, actually. This is what happens to it. Put this here. Where'd it go? There, it drops it. So you could put the hopper there, obviously. Um, why? I can't think of a reason why you would do that. Because you could put the placer down and break it and then collect it. Why? <laughs> Cost yourself some power. Anyway, those are the things that I made last time. I'm sure somebody has some magical idea of what we can do with it, but I don't. Um, and there was the auto blazer, so we've seen that work. So that was me. Go and watch Lawrence's stream, uh, well, video, catch up video to see what he did last stream, because I have no idea, and magic's all very complicated, and building these machines is just a matter of time and putting energy in it. Um, and, you know, link around here somewhere right now. And on Monday, we'll see you then. Remember, half a seven GMT, well, not GMT, is it GMT now? BST. Well, seven, half a seven BST now, obviously, so which is half less. Six GMT? <laughs> Who cares? Half past seven. Monday. On the link in the description. And just watch, and then you'll know what's happening, and I won't have to do this. Okay, bye.